I'll show you how to create an asynchronous flow on an object. So this is an, I'm in the object manager. So I have a, an object called house. So it has some custom, custom fields. This is, I created this for demo. So create asynchronous flow is you go to flow triggers from the bottom, the second one from the bottom. So you just click Flow Trigger Explorer. So it's kind, it's kind of a guidance. Um, the third one is run asynchronously. Um, I click New. So this is an asynchronous flow. So this is count uh, the um, uh, towards the uh, session. Um, uh, governance limit so it runs um, so uh, offline so not online so behind the scene it uh, does the work this is very handy so one um, I'm trying to when the record is created condition or condition are met um, so I want to trigger him make an entry condition. So I have a, a custom field called window. Window equals big. Okay. So this is the entry condition. Action and related records I'm going to update here. Um, Running asynchronously here. So I want to um, update a record of a parent's uh, object, which is an account of um, uh, this record house object. So update one. So this happened asynchronously. Um, set fee, um, always update the record here. Yeah. Company, you set the value um, to a different value, or uh, let's say to a different value. Uh, or we can send the window, the same field to uh, a sync. A sync. Not we don't. We are not going to update the parent. Uh, um, for the simplicity, we we'll, uh, send the window synced so when window name is big so we'll the change the uh, window name to asynced okay so save here flow to so there's an uh, um, so I added update one. So we have an error message, not default path, but that's okay. Yeah. So I activated the asynchronous flow. Let's go to the um, <coughs> houses. Create a new, um, say, a multi-story house. We have two record types. Uh, Let's see. Click later. Uh, 
you can see here even though we um, set the uh, window as big so it is changed to async here so this is how the asynchronous flow works so it took a while uh, so it is sometime it might take a while since it's happening uh, asynchronously so you can get rid of the online or overhead you know like um, some unrelated work but it doesn't depend on your online work you can call it asynchronously so this is how you do call asynchronous flow